Welcome to this edition of Dine and Dash SoCal Edition. That's right. Brian, I came all the way here to your neck of the woods. We are in the San Diego area and I've got some very special treats for you to have. Dining wise, what do you think of from the West Coast? Seafood, I'm hoping. Seafood, of course, fresh seafood. But the best thing about this area of California, there's a lot of ethnicities. There's a, there's a lot of Asian influence, a lot of Mexican influence. So maybe a little sushi, maybe a mm. few tacos. Mm, sounds delicious. So what are we dashing in? We're dashing in a 2017 all new Infiniti Q60. It looks red sport. It looks hot. OK, let's go. Let's hit the road. We got places to see. And things to eat. <laughs> So Brian, where's our first stop? We're going to a very, very exquisite, exclusive hotel resort called Rancho Valencia. It's one of the top 10 uh, resorts, diamond resorts in the world that is not uh, oceanfront. Ooh. I've heard that it's just gonna blow us away. Ooh, well I'll hit that. I'll, I'll nail the throttle because I think we should get there fast. This baby has 400 ponies under the hood from its twin turbo V6. But don't worry, there are other options if it's too much power for you. You can get a 300 horsepower version and even a four cylinder turbo version that's got just over 200 horsepower. I still like this one the best. It is the most powerful engine in the Q60. Nothing wrong with more power. Step on it. All right. And Brian, I hear you have some special connection with the chef out here. What's you, he gonna make for us? You betcha. I mentioned tacos, right? And I, I think Fish tacos are synonymous with San Diego. They are for me anyways. Mm -hmm. And uh, But maybe a little different version of a fish taco. Maybe shellfish? Mm, lobster, you mean? Uh, you might be right. Ooh, can't wait. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Here we are. Yeah. So Katrina, this is Chef Joshua from Rancho Valencia. Oh, Chef Joshua, so nice to meet you. I understand you're preparing something before the tacos. Yeah, uh, this is our fresh uh, farmer's market vegetable salad. Um, all the ingredients come from a local farm. Uh, Chino Farms is right around the corner. Stop there five times a week right before, right before I come in here to work. Okay, so this is our uh, lettuce puree. Mm. Um, bean herbs, uh, a little uh, creme fraiche, uh, and uh, fresh lettuce, uh, maybe heirloom lettuces. This is carrot puree. Carrot puree? How come it's so yellow? <laughs> it brightens up uh, with olive oil. Ah, okay. Next we have uh, lemon guavas. Okay. Uh, this is fresh baby corn with the silk. Mm. These are uh, fresh dates. Here we have some uh, strawberry guavas, pickled mm. cauliflower, roasted red beets, uh, pomegranates, just came into season, concord grapes, and some beautiful blood orange. And these are uh, pickled gherkins. Some uh, cooked vegetables, these are uh, sunchokes or Jerusalem artichoke. Here's some of the uh, items we grilled earlier. You have uh, fresh local asparagus, fresh fennel, and uh, some flowering broccoli. Watermelon radish, uh, baby mustard greens, and baby red watercress, or garlic flowers. These are edible? Yes, they are. Uh, quite strong. Garlic flowers? Garlic flowers. Oh my god, they're very strong. <laughs> <laughs> pea shoots or pea greens. And some uh, wild nasturtium. Uh, we finish it off over here with uh, what we call mushroom dirt. It's dehydrated mushrooms of, uh, of all sorts. It's kind of got a little forest going on. I gotta say, this looks too spectacular to eat. It looks like something that should be photographed and on a wall. It's absolutely stunning in its presentation. Thank you. So, Chef Josh, Brian has been driving me crazy all day talking about these lobster tacos. He's been ranting and raving about them. Tell me what goes into them. A bit of romaine. Romaine, okay. Uh, so the lobster is butter poached uh, and seasoned with uh, Mexican five spices. Wow. So you have cumin, uh, coriander, chili powder, a uh, little brown sugar. Uh, this lobster was poached and then it was drained out onto this tray. Okay. Uh, leaches out any extra excess fat that we may not want in the taco. Uh, fresh avocado. Again, grown locally just around the locally corner. Locally sourced, correct. So uh, Guajillo is a uh, dried Mexican chili. Okay. Um, we roast it, uh, rehydrate it, and uh, 
blend it into an aioli. Micro cilantro, mm -hmm. served with uh, our house guacamole, and pico de gallo. Mm -hmm. There you have it. Those are our Rancho Valencia featured uh, lobster tacos. Thank you Thank very you. much. Enjoy. I can't wait to dig into the salad. I'm starting with the salad first. Okay, let's start, let's start with salad. Okay, there All you right. go. You start. Go ahead. Okay, I don't even want to. I don't want to ruin it. I, you know what? It, it looks is so, so good. beautiful. And isn't I don't it? know how. Here, maybe put it closer to the okay. plate, and I'll just kind of like <laughs> dish it in. I'll, sa oh. I'll save you some baby corn. Okay. Make sure you try those garlic flowers. Oh, because man. honest to God, they taste like a clove of garlic. It, I'm going to try right now. I got to eat. Yeah, you start. I'm you starving. start. Mm. OK, what are you having first? Uh, I had that watermelon gherkin. gherkin? Mm -hmm. Just the right amount of vinegar. Mm. Mm. The sun chokes. The artichoke is so perfectly grilled. This is what I'm so fresh. I'm really interested. Mm. I, <laughs> I've never eaten corn silk before. Knew it. I, I think you took it all. Well, it, it, it was all one. Sorry. <laughs> mm. Mm. You know what? I think it's okay because it's a baby corn. Mm, the blood orange. Nothing the salad. Okay. I'm not done with it. Okay. <laughs> you load up your first. Okay. I have to try the fava bean too. Mm. Well, I'm a bean. Look at me. this. There's, you know what the, the amazing thing is? Mm -hmm. On the menu, this isn't even that expensive. You get three of them, mm -hmm. and it's a lot of lobster. Mm -hmm. You know what? That, it, this is a ton of lobster. It does look delicious, and I mean, look at them. The pieces. Those aren't mm. just like little chintzy pieces, <laughs> man. Those are big, solid pieces Say of it, lobster. Big ass, big ass pieces. <laughs> they are. Oh, and the guacamole mm. is so fresh. Of course, this is a top-notch oh, wow. resort and the restaurant is top notch as well. But in California in general, they have so many fresh vegetables, so many great farms, at everything. their fingertips, at yeah. their fingertips. And you can taste that freshness. So what'd you think? Oh my God, those tacos were amazing, especially that lobster taco. And I tell you, when I think of tacos, I kind of think of street food, very casual, but that wasn't the case, was it? It's all about presentation. Oh, speaking of presentation, look at the car. It's all about the design. Beautiful details on this Infiniti Q60. You're looking at it, the grill with the double arch, and then the headlights are stunning. They actually look like a, a human eye. I like it. It has a very bold, masculine, yet elegant look. Uh, beautiful creases, nice lines on it, uh, big wheels, 19 inch wheels on this. It's like, I loved what they did with this coupe. It's absolutely beautiful, but enough about the car. Take me to the next food stop. It's my turn to drive. Oh, yeah. Brian, I loved that lobster taco. That was incredible. It was exquisite. It was divine, I'll have to admit. And I think my idea of a fish taco has been destroyed now. I'm destroyed, <laughs> including that resort. Oh my gosh, that hotel is crazy. Over the top. I can honestly say that was the nicest hotel I have ever stayed in. I even had my own hot tub. Oh, big deal. I had my own as well. <laughs> And it's on like 45 acres uh, of beautiful, pristine land, golf course, tennis courts, everything you want to work off all that food that you've been eating. Fresh orange juice at your door when you wake up, like freshly squeezed. It was crazy. <laughs> all right, enough about the food. What do you think of the drive? You mean, oh, the car? <laughs> 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 yep, Sorry. the car. I, I have my mind was going on the food and and you know the spa and everything else. <laughs> well, I I really liked I like the Q50 and I equally like the Q60. First of all, it looks so good. It looks like it's fast just by looking at it. But the technology, this is it's kind of like driving a video game, and it's not the technology like like the GPS. Yes, that's nice and it got us to the places where we wanted to go but it's the technology that enhances the drive and makes this thing a lot safer. And it has everything, blind spot monitors, lane departure warning systems. Direct adaptive steering, steer by wire, you name it, it's got it. Mm -hmm. All right, enough about the drive. Let's go check out your next spot. Well, you're on the West Coast. I'm going to take you to somewhere that I was just there for dinner last week. And it better be on the, on the ocean. Of course, we're going to the coast. Well, when you're in California, no drive is complete without a stop at the Pacific Ocean. And that's exactly where we are. We're at the Pacific Coast Grill and 
We are having the best the West Coast can offer. This is the rainbow roll. It has salmon from here. It has hamachi, yellowtail, local grown avocados, and of course, Dungeness crab. No more uh, talking, let's eat. I'm going in for the salmon. And I've mm. got a little hamachi here. Mm. This rainbow roll is like you're getting like about three different rolls in one. It is so fresh. You're definitely right. Can't get that back in Toronto. This is the West Coast at its best. I got to say, that was my one of my favorite places to eat right on the California coast. Rainbow rolls, it doesn't get any better. I told you, I told you. You're right. The California coast is beautiful. And if you've never done the Pacific Coast Highway Drive, it's incredible. And it's not just about the ocean. Like you say, that beautiful resort, you can go to different spots that aren't oceanfront that are still quite incredible. And it doesn't hurt when you're driving a, a 400 horsepower Infiniti Q60 either. <laughs> and in case you're wondering what it costs, it starts at just under $46,000. And this top of the line Red Sport 400, fully loaded, and all wheel drive, by the way, goes for around $64,000. Well, that's it for this edition of Dine and Dash. Until next time, bon appetito. Safe travels. Welcome to the